Hi there, I'm Trevor, this is Liz, and we're here to talk about the game of poker, specifically five card stud. The game of poker is actually very old, but stud itself came around around the mid-1800s. Uh, stud is played with a standard 52 card deck of cards. Uh, we're using Bicycle Brand today. Uh, and to tell you a little bit more about the cards and how they interact with the uh, game itself, Liz? Alright. The deck of cards has four suits. Um, the highest of the suits is spades, followed by hearts, and then diamonds, and then clubs is the lowest suit. Um, each suit has uh, 13 cards in it. The lowest is a two, and it goes all the way from two to ten. And um, after a ten, there's a jack, a queen, a king, and an ace. And the ace is always high. Um, in the game, um, players will have hands of cards, um, and the hands have different values of, um, that uh, let you win around. The highest possible hand you can have is called a royal flush. It is um, a 10 through an ace, all of the same suit. Um, the next highest is a straight flush, and it does not have to be a 10 through an ace, but they have to be consecutive um, in consecutive order and all of the same suit. So for example, if we had a 9 of hearts instead of an ace of hearts, and had 9, 10, jack, queen, king, all of hearts, mm -hmm. that would be a straight flush. Yeah. Okay. And the highest, um, the higher they go up, the better it is. Um, after the straight flush, you have <clears throat> four of a kind, and your hand will be a five card, so you'd have an additional arbitrary card here. Um, it just has to be four of any card. Okay, then the next highest uh, hand is called a full house, and in a full house you have a three, three of one card and two of another. And then the same goes if you have the higher, um, the higher three of a kind, you win, same with the two of a kind. Okay, then the next highest hand is just a flush, um, right? Yeah, yes. flush, it's uh, all cards of the same suit and it does not matter the order or anything, just as long as they all have the same suit. Then our next uh, highest hand is called a straight. Um, they just have to be in consecutive order. They can be of any suit, all mix, mix match. And if two players have the same, um, both have a straight, you know, the one with the higher one would win. And then after that, there's a three of a kind, and you'd have two arbitrary cards in your hand as well. Then after that, you'd have um, a two pair. So you have a pair here and a pair here, and an extra arbitrary card. And then the lowest hand, but it would still be, you know, any just random assortment of cards, is a one pair. And then you'd have three extra arbitrary cards over here. Excellent. Now what happens if nobody has a, pa uh, a pair or higher? If nobody has a pair or higher, um, the player with the highest, um, the highest card in their hand or the highest assortment of cards would win. Okay, so for example, if a character had an ace, then they would they win would if nobody win. else and had And if two pair. people had an ace, then um, whichever one of them had the highest next card down. Excellent. So, now that you know how the different cards work, we're going to spend, talk a little bit about the uh, actual game itself. Now I, uh, being an imbecile, have just mixed my decks uh, up, so give me a moment. There we go. That's good because, uh, oh, there we go. Now we're just going to set this red deck aside because it doesn't shuffle nearly as nicely as my blue one here. Now again, uh, I said the deck is play the game is played with a standard 52 card deck. That means that the joker cards are 
typically not used. Uh, some games, like casual games, will use jokers as wild cards, but we're not going to do that here. Now, the way the game is played, uh, I'll assume we're playing with just two people, in this case, myself and Liz. Uh, one player is the dealer. The dealer shuffles the deck, mixes it up. You just want to get the cards as random as possible. Yes? Um, and we also need betting utensils, like poker chips, or in this game we use candy. Um, we we'll start with like a few, like 10 pieces or five, six, seven, eight. About eight pieces. Excellent. And in this case, uh, each candy represents uh, one money. Uh, we're not going to specify a dollar amount. We're just going to say money. Uh, so, one person is the dealer, and they deal the cards. Now, in five card stud, there are a lot of different variations of poker, and the big difference between them is what, uh, how the cards are dealt. In the game of stud, uh, at first, each player is dealt one card face up and one card face down. The players can look at their face down card, but it's their hidden information. It's what nobody else gets to see. Then, traditionally, the betting is started by the player with the best hand showing. Now, in this case, I have a 9 showing, and Liz has a 7 showing. So, I have to bet, uh, bet first. During the first round of betting, there's what's called a bring-in uh, in the game of stud, which is where one player, uh, the first person to bet, has to bet a minimum amount. In this case, one piece of candy. The other players can then either check, uh, which is where they basically pass, which they can do as long as no one else has bet, or uh, call my bet, which would be demonstrated by putting forward a piece of candy, or they can call and raise, where they would raise the bet, uh, usually by a fixed amount. In this case, the fixed raise would be one piece of candy. Uh, so, Liz? And, um I'm just going to check in this round. Okay. Since she has checked, the next round of, uh, the next round of dealing occurs. Now, Liz has the better hand showing by virtue of having a jack on the table. So I'm going to raise the pot by one piece of candy. Excellent. So she has put in one. So now I can either call for this round of bet, uh, betting, or I can fold. Because someone has bet besides the uh, outside of the bring-in, um, I, if I do not call and match her bet or raise, then I lose. I'm actually going to raise an extra piece of candy. And I'll call his raise. Excellent. So, now that she is called, the next round of dealing occurs. Does not look like I am going to win this game. Uh, so, uh, just for the sake of instruction, I will demonstrate what, hap what would happen next. Uh, you so I'll have the um, next opportunity to bet, and I'll go ahead and raise it by another piece of candy. And I will call. Which brings us to the fifth round of betting. She now has a pair of jacks, and I have nothing showing, which indicates that I am very likely to lose. So now it's my turn again, and I'm going to go ahead and raise it by another piece of candy. Rather than throwing another piece of candy into the pot, I am going to fold, and which I means show. that I don't lose any more money, but I also lose everything that I've already put in. And um, since he's folding, I automatically win, but I'd win anyway since I have a three of a kind. And I had, again, nothing. <laughs> so that is a demonstration hand of the game. Typically, you would play with more people, and usually with money or chips instead of candy, but I think we're all children on the inside. Uh, and I at least have a horrible sweet tooth. My dentist keeps wanting to pull it, but I never let <laughs> I avoid dentists because of mine. <laughs> See, there you go.
Uh, is there anything else you think we should cover? Um, I think we've got about everything. Excellent. Um, this game, though, is it seems a lot more um, based on the betting, since it's a game of mostly perfect information. You only have one card hidden. Mm -hmm. In a lot of the older versions of poker, they were, all the cards were hidden from your opponents. Yes. Uh, stud is the variant of poker that has the most shared information. Uh, usually, for example, in Hold'em, you have two cards hidden, typically. And in uh, Draw Poker, you typically have all of your cards hidden. In Stud, you have one card hidden. And other than that, everyone can see what you've got on the table. So it's really easy to tell if a player is going to you know, beat you or not at the end of the game. Mm-hmm.